It's time now for Perspective. Four months on from the coordinated Hamas massacres across southern Israel of the 7th of October, some 100 Israelis remain in captivity with very little known about the specifics of their fate. The families of those captured are continuing to urge their government and the international community not to give up on their loved ones. My guest today is Eyal Calderon, whose cousin Ofer was kidnapped by Hamas from the near Oz kibbutz and remains a hostage in Gaza. Two of Ofer's children were also kidnapped. Erez, who turned 12 in captivity, and 16-year-old Sahar were released on the 27th of, of November. Thank you so much for speaking to us uh, and for joining us from just north of Tel Aviv today. Uh, four months have now passed since the Hamas ma massacres that struck at the heart of your family. Uh, over two months uh, since Erez and Sahar were returned to you. How is your family coping right now? Yeah, uh, so, you know, uh, today is four months since uh, October 7th. Uh, and uh, the last 124 days uh, are the same. Uh, it's like hell uh, for us. Uh, yeah, uh, something like 70 uh, days ago, uh, we got back Sar and Erez, and uh, it was a very awful uh, time. Uh, but since then, uh, it's been almost 70 days uh, of unknowing uh, situation when we don't know what uh, is going on with the offer and the other hostages, hostages and uh, we are very concerned, very afraid for uh, his fate and it's a very anxious time. Do you have any information at all about his, uh, his health or potentially where he is? Have you received any information at all? No, we know that he was injured in his leg, uh, but for at least for the last 70 days, almost 70 days, we don't know anything. We can see a, a picture of your cousin uh, behind you smiling uh, in that black and white photograph. Could you tell us a bit about uh, your cousin? Who was he? What was he like before he was captured by Hamas? So like you see in the sign, uh, Ofer was smiling all the time. He uh, was very, uh, he's very positive uh, man, uh, very loving, caring uh, for his family. He has four, uh, four sons, four children, uh, Gaia, Rotem, Sar, and Erez. And uh, he's uh, all of the world for them. Uh, all, of, all of the world for them. He was uh, there for them every time. And uh, he's, uh, he likes uh, to bike, uh, he likes to uh, travel a lot in the world. Uh, he's a carpenter, uh, he built, uh, uh, he's an art, artist. Uh, and uh, you know, for 124 days, he's a captive in the tunnels of Hamas in Gaza with no sunlight, with no air, with no food, uh, with no uh, clean water. And we are very afraid for him. Uh, and we think that all of the world needs to know that it's a crime war that's going on there in Gaza. And there are uh, 136 hostages that are uh, rotting there. And we must do everything. Every uh, person in the world must do everything to release them as soon as possible. Eyal, do you feel that your family and also families in similar situations, do you feel you're receiving enough support from the Israeli state? We're getting support. Um, but you know, uh, in the end, the result uh, will uh, tell us if uh, we got uh, the the, the uh, best support. Uh, all uh, we need uh, now is to bring him back. And we need to know that all the efforts are uh, going to uh, this uh, target uh, to bring them all back. And uh, this is the most important thing. Uh, we can uh, take uh, everything else, uh, take care 
after, but they, all the hostages, they don't have time and we must take him back from uh, this so horrifying situation. On our screens right now, we're seeing uh, pictures of, of the rallies we've been seeing in Tel Aviv, uh, family members of hostages coming together, uh, demanding uh, the return of their loved ones. Have you found strength in each other, family members of people who are still in Gaza? Have you found that to be a source of comfort and strength over the past four months? Yeah, of course. You know, uh, we are fighting for the same uh, target uh, and we are in the same uh, boat, uh, all of us. Uh, so, yeah, uh, we are trying to uh, make uh, each other stronger. Uh, it's very difficult, uh, no matter what. But, uh, yeah, we are trying. Now, the government uh, of Israel, sorry to interrupt you, the government uh, in Israel has always said that keeping up uh, intense military pressure on uh, Hamas in Gaza is the best way uh, to bring about the return uh, of the hostages, also uh, to eradicate Hamas, of course. Do you agree with that stance, knowing as you do that your loved one is currently trapped in Gaza? You know, I'm not, uh, not a political uh, guy, I'm not a politician, uh, I'm not uh, a military... Uh, expert, uh, I mostly don't know. I don't know what is the right uh, uh, the right thing to do now. Uh, I know that uh, offer is in a big danger, and uh, I think that a, a deal uh, will be the best uh, option. Uh, that uh, we, and we know that are that uh, there are uh, talkings about uh, a deal that's uh, on the table. And I think uh, this is the most uh, way, the, the best way that we can uh, bring him home alive. Uh, and we need to get uh, to strive to get a deal. This is the best way to bring them all alive. Eyal Calderon, thank you so much for speaking to us on France 24 today. And I uh, hope sincerely that uh, your cousin is returned to you as soon as possible. Thank you very much.